Hi everybody! This is a tutorial to show you how to set up a Second Life account so that you can come in World during the SL MOOC and enjoy some of the activities and see some of the presentations in World with your avatar. So this is what it looks like. You go to secondlife.com www.secondlife.com takes you to this page and you click on play for free. Now it brings up a whole group of avatars that you can choose from. So we're going to move around and pick an avatar. You can pick a guy or a girl, whatever you want. And I'm going to pick this one. I like her hair. And now you want to get a username. So we're going to call her um, Maddie Laramore. And we're going to check the av availability of that name. You could pick anything. Oops, somebody took that one. All right, let's try another one. Um, how about Josephina Laramore? Well, click and see. Yay! It's available. Okay, so now we click on Next Step. This is the place where you enter your information that establishes your account. So you enter your email address, you toggle to your month, your day, and your year of birth, you figure out a password, then you click on this arrow and you choose a security question. Now I'm going to do this I'm going to fill this out without recording it so I can do it in a secure fashion and then I'll be right back. Once you've created your account, you come to this screen which tells you to select an account. Now if you get a premium account, you get the avatar and the access to Second Life, but then you can also have a home and some extras. Since you're just coming in for the very first time, the best idea is to get the free account. Got the avatar, got all the access you need, but you don't have to pay any money until you decide whether or not you want to be in there for a long time. So click Select for free account. And now it tells you it's time to download and install Second Life. I've already downloaded and installed Second Life, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go out and I'm going to log in. When you're finished installing the Second Life viewer on your computer, you'll see a big icon like this with a hand in it. That's the Second Life icon, and you click on it. It'll load Second Life. Make sure you've got everything you need. Type Joe's. Safina, oh, whoop, Josephina Laramore. You don't need to do a first name and a last name. You can do just a first name. You can do things with numbers, whatever you want, because later on you can always change the name that other people see. So I added my password, and now I'm going to say my home, which I don't actually have yet and I'm going to click on log in. Now it knows this is a brand new account so it's going to give me the terms of service and this is just all the rules and regulations so you can scroll down and read them so you get a sense of what's going on, it tells you everything. Once you've read them and you've decided you can agree to them you click and you click on continue Then you see a screen like this that says logging in and it tells you about the destination guide. You don't want to go out there right now because this is your first time in. But I'll show you about the destination guide almost as soon as we get there. It's downloading clothing. Whoa, and I have my clothing already and there's lots of people. Okay, so now I'm going to get out of this bunch of folks. And I look a little gray. That's called resing in. Me turn around so you can see me. Whoa! Not all my clothes are here yet. That's that's me gray resing in. <laughs> and slowly my clothes and so on are coming in. So this is called Find the Path Learning Island 3 and what's cool about this is it's got all these little pieces of information over here. So it says your mission is to leave the island, follow the signs, press left arrow and right arrow to look around, 
So if I press the left arrow, I spin around this way, and I can see that lady who looks just like me. And if I click the right arrow, I can go the other direction. And if I press the up arrow, I go straight into the sign, and the back arrow, I come out. So now I want to turn around, and I want to follow the arrows up the beach. In another video, we'll show you how to, how to change your clothes once you get to the SL MOOC class uh, location, which is on the mainland in the Educator's Village in Madhupak. Okay, now for a second, we're going to just stand right here. Let me turn all the way around. And the way you turn around so you can see the front of you is you hold down the Alt key, and then you hit the left or the right arrow key, and that swings you in front of you. And the up key brings you closer to the person. So there she is all rezzed in. Now, take a look at your viewer. Up at the top, you've got a bunch of little menus. This one says Me. And it shows your profile, and your, you can choose a different avatar if you want. And then it shows you all kinds of other things that you have. So you want to just mess with this. Take a look at all of these. Communicate, nearby chat, speaking, conversation log, changing your voice, and then friends once you have them. You can click Do Not Disturb if you don't want to talk to anybody. World gives you the ability to landmark. You can click here for the destinations guide and see what's out there. Build is something you're going to learn how to do in the SL MOOC class, and help is a great way if you're stuck and don't know quite what to do about things. Over here, this shows you how many Lindens you have. This is the currency inside of Second Life, and then you can buy them. You can click here and buy them if you want, but you can get a lot for free at the beginning, so I wouldn't do that. You can go out to the marketplace on your browser and shop. This tells you what time it is in Pacific Daylight Time, and that's called, if you see SLT, Second Life Time, that's what it is, Pacific Daylight Time. This little guy up here, this little two-bar thing, will stop music if there's music playing, and this is where you can control the sound of everything that you're hearing. Over here, this is another bar for choosing an avatar. This is where your clothing lives. This is your inventory, everything you pick up and use. This is landmarks. Actually, that's search. And you can find people and places and things. This is landmarks. Um, this is a mini map. If you click on that, all these green dots are people that are around you. And this little yellow dot, that's you. We'll close that up. You can take a photo of yourself. You click there. Your camera comes up. And it's... Um, free to save it to your computer so you can there's your picture and if you want to take the picture you click save to my computer and save and it takes a picture of you and there it is snapshot and that's your first picture down here this is a toolbar to talk to people you click on chat and it shows you all the people nearby and you just type so there's a russian person this is for speaking. A little white dot shows up above your head and your mouth moves and everybody around you can hear you. I'm going to shut that off. This is destination. People shows you who's around and lists your friends and groups that you might be in and all that kind of stuff. If you don't like somebody, you can click on them and block them. This goes out to Facebook. This is your profile. We'll look at all this stuff later. This is really important. Walk, run. You can, if you don't want to use your arrow keys, you can use these keys to walk, to run, or to fly. I'm going to use my arrow keys, and then I'll show you how to use page up, page down to fly. Your camera controls gives you an, oh, another way to kind of look around, so you don't have to use your alt key. And then there's a how-to. So we're going to walk a little farther. Let's go do this. So you can see some wandering around. There's another person in front of us. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna run up, but we're not gonna use voice right now. So the first thing we're gonna do here on this learning island three is we're gonna cross the bridge, and I'm using my arrow key. So I'm pushing my up arrow key to walk forward, and then 
I'm kind of turning it a little bit by using the left key. So I go in the same direction. Let's let this lady go first. It's not nice to bump into people. Now here it tells you that you can hold down the page up key to fly. And the reason why you have to do that is as you get up here you'll see the bridge is out. Oh my goodness. So we use page up. And now we're in the air. We use the arrow keys to move forward. And we want to come back down on the solid ground. So you use page down. Whoa. Whoop. And we're going to walk up this staircase. And we're going to walk up this staircase. And if we kept going, we could explore this island and see what's up here. And let me get up to the welcome area. If you fall off something, just use your page up key to start flying. And then um, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's hard. You have to kind of use the forward key and the left key and the right key to stay on the bridge. So it's a good way to learn how to navigate. And we're going up some stairs. Dee, 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 dee. And now it's telling me to walk through the portal to continue my adventure. So that swirly thing straight ahead is the portal. So I'm going to do that. You see if I can aim myself at it. Er, here I go. Now I'm teleporting. And we are now at the social area. Lots of people standing around. Somebody has offered to send me to London City. I don't want to go there. That's a possible destination. I'll show you how to pick a destination. It's good for newbies. And then you can come to our destination right after that. So this is kind of a this is interesting. So here's a place where they probably have classes. And you can sit down if you want. There's a bed to lie on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn myself around. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm come around. I'm going to come around so you can see me. There I am and it's raining. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to click on destinations down here. And what I want to do is go somewhere that's newcomer friendly. So, you don't have to do that. You can be adventurous and go somewhere else. But I'm going to go to Newcomer Friendly. So I'm clicking on Newcomer Friendly. And I could either go to London's New Experience or Freebie Island or New Citizens Incorporated or Brazil or The Shelter or Necozone or any of these places. They all look kind of interesting. I think where I'm going to go is Newcomers Incorporated. So I'm going to click on Newcomers Incorporated and it's going to give me a teleport. Whoa, and here I am. Sometimes you lose bits and pieces of your... Look! Go up to the top and close that music off. You won't be able to hear me. This is a busy joint. Lots of people here doing nifty stuff. So we're going to go out in this area that's kind of open. When you get here, you can take a look at everything. Just wait for things to res in. If it's gray like this, it means that it's just in the process of forming. So you want to wait and let it form. And then you can explore the island. Now, if you would like to come straight to class, you should have open on your browser your WizIQ account. When you registered for the course, you set up your WizIQ account. So when you come to your home, you'll see something like this. You'll see your, uh, your name and live classes and things on your wall. And down here on the right-hand side, you should see SL MOOC. You might have to go to My Courses to find it, but usually it'll be right here. So click to SL MOOC. Okay, where you want to be is the About Course page. And you go all the way down, and you will see down here it says Syllabus for the MOOC. And you want to click here. Hmm. And then you want to click on Second Life Area. When you do that, it brings up what's called an SURL. That's up here in the address bar. And down here it shows you the map of the mainland 
and it shows you the IT for all building that's right there and now you click visit this location and when you do that go back to Second Life and you will see that a teleport bar is opening up so you want to wait for that to fill in and there it says integrated technology and then you click on teleport and this will take you to our course building so when you finish your teleport to the building you will be right inside the building door and you can come out and take a look and see what the building looks like from outside there it is and that's one of our teachers back there, Peonia. And here's our banner. And inside the building, there will be lots of good stuff for you to do. The places to sit, information about the course, and all kinds of activities. And this will be your home area. And I'll make some more videos about how to move around and how to set the, this building as your home so that you can always come back here. So have fun. Lots of things to do this month. See you soon.